Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to navigate Facebook with Dragon Naturally speaking 11.5 and 12. Now I have 11.5 but they're pretty much but they're pretty much the same. 11.5 and 12 are pretty much the same with a few exceptions. But it should have put your dragon should appear just appear just about the same as mine. I have the 11.5 version. Now in this video what I'm going to do to start off is show you how to get to Facebook from your desktop and then how to navigate around Facebook with Dragon Naturally speaking for those of you that don't have hands and don't have the privilege of or don't have the privilege of using because you got hurt or whatever okay let's begin Launch Internet Explorer. Masquerade. Masquerade. Go to sleep. As you can see, the command mouse grid allows you to say a corresponding number to tell the cursor where to go as if you were using the mouse. It is a lot faster than a command I will show you later. Wake up. Facebook.com. Press enter. Go to sleep. Now I'm going to show you the command that I was going to show you, even though that's not technically later. Some of you may say. I'm going to tell you what, you, as you're going to see, you're going to know why I prefer the mouse grid method over this one. Wake up. Mouse move up. Faster. Stop. Mouse move left. Faster. Move mouse down. Stop. Move mouse left. Stop. Move mouth up. Stop. Mouse left click. Go to sleep. So as you can see, the mouse grid would be much faster because you have to say, you have to tell Dragon which way you want the mouse to go and then click on the and stop the mouse on what you want it just depends on who you are though I know but I like the mouse grid option better so now that we're on Facebook I'm going to show you how to navigate around Facebook with Dragon you can use voice commands like say click click on click on certain links like you can say click on update status or click on add photo slash video but as you'll see using the mouse grid is probably the best option and I'll show you a few other things cool things that you can do with Dragon Naturally speaking on Facebook
Wake up. Click Nicholas Paul Chambers. Click add cover photo. Go to sleep. I did that there to show you an example that not that not all that not all links and not all things you can click on can be used by books. But there are several things that you can do. Like this one. Wake up. Click Facebook. Two. Go back. Click Facebook. Cancel. Mouse grid. One. Eight. Two. 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 Mouse left click. Go to sleep. As you can see, sometimes Franken doesn't work like it's supposed to and it's difficult. We all been there. But now that we're back on the main Facebook page, I'm going to show you a few cool more things and probably one of the most important things you're going to be using on Facebook, which is communicating with friends. And people are like, okay, well, I'm about to show you how you can use Dragon on Facebook to message people. Obviously, to type the message, but there's more to it. Wake up. Click messages. Choose two. Go to sleep. Now at this point you can see I have my list of friends here. You might think I could say click Casey Mercer and it would uh, and it would pull up her our conversation. No, actually it uh, does what it did back there when I said click Facebook and I had to use mouse grid to click the Facebook main home link. So what you'd have to do is use your mouse grid and 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 put the mouse over her over her over this. I'm just gonna show you. You'd have to put your mouse over this and then say mouse left click, which would then pull up a conversation. And then you could and then you could type type whatever you wanted to say. Um, wake up, click Facebook, go to sleep. I'm going to show you one of the cool features you can do on, on, on Facebook with Dragon. You can see, uh, tell it to click on apps for you. Like if you wanted to play fifth grader, you could say click fifth grader. You could say click Skype or click JPEG Generator. Click Candy Crush Saga, and it, it would click the link as if you were click as if you were literally clicking on it. Um, just to keep in mind though, you want to stay within. You want to you want to tell Dragon to click mainly these. You either want to tell Dragon to click your news feed, your messages, your events, your photos, or find friends. I've not really tested it on Ads Manager. I mean, yes, because it's a link, it it it'll technically work. I've tried it on these down here, like my page, 
Cerebral palsy awareness or my girlfriend's page. Cerebral palsy awareness. It's not. It it it, it always messes up on that one. Um, page feed. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. So it's basically these links over here. You're almost like the apps. You have to be like like this one. Like 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 break it. So it may not know what that is. But if you say ro uh, click robot rising, I think it'll get that. If you you say click gain speed, it'll get that. You know. So those are just a few of the things you can do. If you want to know more or how to comments or questions. Or I didn't make something clear or anything like that. Don't hesitate to tell me. And for the video who I did this for, I won't mention a name. But I hope this is what you wanted. If it's not, tell me and I will make a video and correct any anything that you want me to test. Because this is actually the first time I've done it and actually tried navigating Facebook with Dragon. Because I always use my hand, you know, but I, I understand for those that don't have it, so don't have ease, ease of access to use their hands. Because I can't use my legs myself. But anyways, if you have any comments, questions, don't hesitate to post. No bad comments, please. I do this because I enjoy it. Thanks for watching.